Oh, we're back, baby. Hello, welcome to my channel again. I'm Gavin, it's a pleasure to meet you. This channel is all about uh, men's thinking, men's health, men's psychology, that kind of stuff, really, uh, and a little bit of other stuff thrown in there. We are talking about the GOAT, American football GOAT today. The GOAT, the greatest of all time. Uh, did you know some people, I mean, I suppose people say the GOAT as just a general term to throw out there, but a lot of people actually don't know what GOAT means, GOAT stands for. Uh, it means greatest of all time. So Tom Brady is the subject of today's vlog, and it's about how older men uh, older men, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting on a bit now these days. Older men can uh, use Tom Brady as an example to be better and be successful um, as we age through the aging process because Tom Brady is the uh, the Super Bowl quarterback of Super Bowl quarterbacks. Let's make no bones about it. This is a guy who's up for his seventh one at the time of recording this uh, before they play the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl, the Buccaneers. That's his new team. He's won most of his Super Bowls, all of his Super Bowls with the uh, New England Patriots. Uh, but he's 43 years old, Tom Brady. 43. Jeez, 43. To be dominating your, you know, top level elite sport when you're that age is pretty damn incredible. This is a guy who's been top of his game for 20 years. And one of the reasons that he stayed there, um, there, ha there are many mindset issues that he has tapped into that's allowed him to stay at the peak, the top of his game. And I think some of those things Three of those I'm gonna dissect now. Uh, there's so much more to this, but um, yeah, three. Just gonna keep it to three. Number one, number one. This is a guy who is obsessed with his fitness and diet. Fitness and diet as we get older is so, so important. So important, it's ridiculous. I'm like kind of pushing, like, you know, pushing these days, I'm not gonna reveal my age, but um, the stuff I used to do like 10 years ago now, it takes its toll on the knees, it takes its toll on the hips. Um, and yeah, it, it, you know, obviously it can burn fat quicker if you're doing a lot of cardiovascular, a lot of high intensity, but the stuff that Brady's implemented is more along the lines of, there's obviously that because, you know, to be an American football player, you have to be physically fit in that respect, but pl uh, pliability towards stretching, yoga, um, and, you know, Pilates, those kinds of exercises. Brady is big on doing the stretching. And that's what it takes when you get to that age. When you look at players or, or sportsmen and women who have increased their, their longevity, they often implement newer and more uh, forward-thinking routines into their, their exercise regimes. So pliability in the muscles and different ways to think about exercising are part of what he is all about. I mean, it's crazy. He's gonna be the first 40-something uh, to, to potentially win two titles. At the time of recording this, he hasn't won this year's Super Bowl 2021 um, with different teams in any of America's four major sports, which is just incredible. To be dominating at that age and to be continuing, continually talked about as the GOAT is just ridiculous. So exercise and diet as well. Brady's a stickler for diet. I don't think he's ever eaten a chocolate bar. <laughs> don't quote me on that, he probably has, but you know, you don't hear about it. Another thing as well, which I think is really testament to his mental spirit and mental fitness is the desire to prove people wrong. Now, if you're anything like me um, and you know you have um, a an underdog mindset, um, then I think that having that that kind of fire within you, that desire to prove people wrong, to make people you know eat their words, is so strong. Brady's got that in bundles because there's been a time when he was when he was drafted 20 odd years ago. Now um, he you know didn't have the build and the look and the physique of a, a you know he was very low down the draft. I can't remember exactly where it was in the draft, but. He didn't look like he was going to be a top level quarterback and had to do a lot of work uh, in order to break through and then convince people of his skill and talent. Um, and it's that kind of, when everyone writes you off, what can you do to prove them wrong? That sort of mindset, which I think has got him far and I think that what we can learn from and adapt in our own mindset when we want to try and succeed and stuff. So yeah, having that mindset is, is absolutely key. Some questioned his methods as well, some questioned um, you know, some of his tactical game plans when he was with the Patriots before. Um, and obviously that, hasn't, that didn't get proved right at all. He proved those doubts is completely wrong too. Him and Belichick, a lot of people said that when, when he moved from the Patriots away from Belichick, he wouldn't, uh, Bill Belichick, this is the, 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 court, the uh, coach, the head coach that he worked with for so long, over so many years, uh, that he wouldn't be able to deliver and do it again. But now he's got the Buccaneers to the playoffs. So yeah. Loads of things that he's proved people wrong on. And the other thing as well is, you just cannot discount the experience and the knowledge that someone like that brings to the play. It really is incredible. When you've been through so much and you've done, you've trained at the highest levels possible and you've you know worked with the best of the best, you've played on the biggest stages for so long consistently, 
there is something within that that gives you the edge. So I think from what we can take with that, you know, Brady's played in 18% of all Super Bowls, which is ridiculous. 18% of all of them, of all time. Um, what we can learn from that is that, you know, if you, if you are wanting to be successful and do something good in your life and do, you know, excel in something, there is no substitute for lacking the, the energy and the knowledge to, to do better. Um, you have to have that. You, there are no shortcuts in life. There are no ways around it. You have to do the homework. You have to do the bits that you effectively need to do to get to th that path that you want to get onto. Um, so yeah, an example of that. It's just, it's. I think it's phenomenal. So yeah, I don't know, what do you reckon about this? Do you reckon Brady's a good example for all guys? I know he's, <laughs> there are so many parallels that you can look at in this and say, that guy is just like, obviously it's, he's superhuman and stuff. And yeah, absolutely, you know, there are things in there that most men won't be able to emulate. But in terms of the mindset, in terms of like the, the simple things that he, that, he, that he can control and it's evident and stuff that we can learn from that, I think that it's a really good example to show how you can live a better life and as we age, um, <laughs> implement them more uh, into our daily lives. So yeah, let me know what you think about this. Do you think Brady is an example for older men going forward? Have you got any other better examples of role models that you see who um, have aged gracefully and we can learn from really? I'd love to know. Hit us up in the comments below. As ever, do subscribe, do like the video if you can. That would be much, much appreciated. And I will see you again next time for another video. Take care, have a great day. Thank you